90 Day Fiance. The other way star Julio Moya has always been the villain in his relationship with Kirsten Showmaker. The New York-based DJ was introduced in episode 1 of the 90 Day Fiance spin-off when he revealed his long-distance Dutch girlfriend Kirsten. Julio was on his way to move to the Netherlands, but there was a small issue in his plans. Julio hadn't told his family about it. Julio met Kirsten on Instagram while he was scrolling his Explore feed. They had similar interests in travel, and the two went on to date for a year. Julio and Kirsten split midway through the season. Julio may have wanted to settle in Europe with Kirsten, but he had not said a word about her or his plans to his family. Julio claimed he and Kirsten were living in a fantasy world for a lot of their relationship. And in the end, it was Julio who was out of the fantasy. Julio was cowardly while being unfair to the time and effort Kirsten put into making the relationship work. She tolerated Julio for the longest time without knowing he was probably trying to sabotage everything single-handedly. Julio was honest about not wanting to live in the U.S. from the moment he was introduced on 90 Day Fiancé. The other way season 5. He came to the U.S. when he was eight with his mom. He never had the American dream because he felt like he was the odd guy out. Julio changed his life entirely when he took his first trip out of the country at 18 years old. The world is a big place with a lot of different people, and if I can't get the life I want here, I can get it somewhere else, Julio confessed. It definitely was an interest that she was from Europe too, Julio said about Kirsten. He believes that in Europe, they have a better work-life balance compared to the U.S. Julio admittedly always had an interest in moving there. He spent two months in the Netherlands living with Kirsten and got used to living there. Kirsten was not the only reason why Julio applied for residency in the Netherlands. Even if Julio was planning to move to the Netherlands within three months, he still hadn't told his family about Kirsten. Nobody was aware of her existence until three weeks before Kirsten came to the U.S. Julio had been dating Kirsten for a year, but said she was a friend and nothing more. He not only kept his move hidden from his mom, but he also tried to convince Kirsten to move to the U.S., despite knowing she would never compromise. He agreed when his family and asked Kirsten to move to the U.S. for two months because they knew Julio had done the same. He blindsided Kirsten and gaslighted her. Julio's plan to get Kirsten to break up with him during her U.S. trip was unsuccessful because she was hopeful of reuniting with him three months later. Julio had to take matters into his own hands and ended the relationship with Kirsten over a video call. Kirsten pointed out that Julio didn't look sad when he was telling her to wait for him without giving her a timeline. Kirsten even said he looked like he was smiling while she cried.